There are over 85 nootropics on the market, and some of them are completely under-researched. Which are those, and do they pose any risk to you? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg, and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. If this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, we're gonna be talking about some of the most popular and often used nootropics that are sadly under-researched. I'll talk about the benefits, the potential side effects, and I'll tell you which of those nootropics you can still continue supplementing and which of them you should probably avoid. So if you're ready, let's just begin. The first nootropic I wanna talk about is Nupept. Now, Nupept is a synthetic molecule and compound similar to piracetam, the first nootropic ever developed. Now, based on the limited evidence, Nupept may alleviate cognitive decline and offer neuroprotection. However, there are three big problems with Nupep. First of all is that there's only one clinical study done in people, and even in this case, these were not healthy individuals, but people who suffer from mild cognitive decline. The second problem is that in this one study that was done, uh, the effects of Nupep were quite weak. And the third problem is that researchers do not yet understand the mechanisms of Nupep. How does it work? Uh, if it's really effective, if it's safe, what's the optimal dosage, etc. Hence, until we know more about Nupep, I definitely recommend avoiding it. The next compound I want to talk about is Adrafinil. Now, Adrafinil is another under-researched nootropic. It is a pro-drug to Modafinil, a very potent smart drug. And according to studies, when you supplement it, it actually increases the levels of Modafinil in the body. So it works as a stimulant, it can increase your energy levels, wakefulness, and even promote cognition. Actually, when I tried it out, I got those benefits, and you can watch my full experience with this compound up here. In addition to that, there are a few studies showing that supplementing adrenaline can help people who suffer from depression and can boost attention. But again, studies were done on people who suffer from mild depression and cognitive issues. So what does this mean to us? Well, first of all, is that we lack safety information on adrafinil, mainly because most studies were done on modafinil, not adrafinil. Secondly, as far as we know, long-term supplementation is not recommended because of the effect of adrafinil on liver. And thirdly, adrafinil is banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency. So because of its illegal status and lack of scientific data on safety and potency, I recommend avoiding adrafinil. The next compound is PQQ. Now, PQQ is a vitamin-like compound that can support mitochondrial function and work as an antioxidant. Now, limited human evidence shows that PQQ may have a neuroprotective role in the elderly, but we lack more studies to confirm this effect, and secondly, we lack studies on healthy and younger individuals. We also don't know the optimal daily dosage, so it's kind of hard to recommend PQQ to people. But unlike other two compounds, PQQ is a natural compound that is found in different foods like kiwi, like soy, like parsley, and even spinach. And all those foods are pretty much very healthy. So because of that, I personally don't see a big issue of supplementing PQQ. Yes, you need to take a low enough dosage, not too high, and maybe you need to cycle just to stay on the safe side. But until we know more about it, personally, yeah, I don't see any big problems of supplementing PQQ. By the way, guys, do you wanna know how well does your brain perform? Go for our free brain assessment, link in the description below, and get your brain performance score. The next compound is Celestrus paniculatus. Now, this is a plant native to India used by local Indian healers to promote brain health and brain performance. Actually, I personally know Indians, Indian healers, who are using this plant in the form of seeds and oil to boost uh, their brain performance, and also they recommend to other people. Now, according to preliminary evidence, yes, supplementing Celestrus paniculatus can help with cognition, can alleviate cognitive issues, and even help with intestinal health. Sadly, most of the studies so far were done on animals, so we lack high-quality clinical trials in individuals, in healthy young individuals. And because of that, there's no doubt this is an under-researched entropic. But since most studies so far show positive effects, since it's a natural compound used for centuries by healers, and because I've been trying it for a very long time and I didn't have any issues with it, personally, again, I don't see any big problems with supplementing it. Again, if you uh, take a low dosage for a short period of time. And if you take it for a longer period, you need to cycle it to avoid any kind of potential side effects. And we have Coles Forscoli. Coles Forscoli is another herb used in traditional Ayurvedic medicine. It has been primarily used as a fat burner. 
It contains a potent compound called forscolin, which seems to be the reason for its medicinal properties. Now, according to limited evidence, this compound can help with cognition, can protect you against cancer, and even boost your testosterone levels. We currently don't know the optimal daily dosage, but it seems to be somewhere between 10 to 50 milligrams of forscolin per day. Yet, this is another under-researched nootropic. Uh, we lack studies, especially clinical studies, in healthy individuals. We really don't know yet the optimal daily dosage, the side effects, what happens if you supplement for long term. So yeah, it is an under-researched nootropic. However, again, it has been used for centuries. Current data show positive effects. It doesn't seem to be dangerous or cause any kind of serious side effects. And because of that, personally, I don't see an issue of supplementing this compound. Of course, it's not one of my favorite nootropics, but well, it could be beneficial. So we just talked about some of the under-researched nootropics, but which are the nootropics you should definitely consider supplementing? Well, click up here and watch the next video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, follow your inception on social media, and guys, I hope to see you soon again.